For the left, equity is the name of the game. All of us equal, except for our friends, for whom we'll give special favors to. In my former hometown of Los Angeles, a woman went to her restaurant. She is unable to employ anyone. Her restaurant is going under, and all the investment that she made into outdoor patios have been gone for naught because the city council decided to shut down all restaurants in the city, including the outdoors, making the investment a moot point, a losing proposition on the bank account ledger. And when she went there, she discovered a movie studio had been allowed to set up. And guess what they do at movies when they film? They feed their employees. They feed everybody on the set a nice perk for being involved in the movie industry. And the catering business will feed these people who will sit side by side and enjoy their food while her restaurant is shut. So this is my place, the Pineapple Hill Grill and Saloon. If you go to my page, you can see all the work I did for outdoor dining, for tables being seven feet apart. And I come in today because I'm organizing a protest and I came in to get stuff for that. Good. And I walk into my parking lot and obviously Mayor Garcetti has approved this. Has approved this being set up for this being set up for for a movie company i'm losing everything everything i own is being taken away from me and they set up a movie company right next to my outdoor patio which is right over here And people wonder why I'm protesting and why I have had enough. <laughs> they have not given us money and they have shut us down. We cannot survive. My staff cannot survive. Look at this. Tell me that this is dangerous, but right next to me as a slap in my face, That's safe. This is safe. 50 feet away. This is dangerous. Mayor Garcetti and Gavin Newsom is responsible for every single person that doesn't have unemployment, that does not have a job, and all the businesses that are going under. And we need your help. We need somebody to do something about this. And yet they claim to want equity. They say that they want equitable treatment for everyone, that they want diversity based on skin color. Of course, they'll allow Black Lives Matter protests in mass to occur in the city and the mayor will go there without wearing a mask. Of course, they will do that because it's rules for thee, but not for me. If you are a favored, a chosen one, like Black Lives Matter, then by all means demonstrate if you are on our side of the political ideological aisle. But if you dare to be a small business, if you dare to dream that you can succeed without our God-given permission as the leftists in charge, as the gods of the nation, then we will shut you down. But if you're on our side, the movie industry, we will give you the privilege of maintaining your business so that we have some economic activity in the city, but not you. You're shut down because even though you provide the same service that the catering does for the movie industry, you will not be open. We will use our mandate. We will use our authority to keep you closed. Meanwhile, the disease is 99% 
with a survival rate, and those who are great, more greatly at risk can choose to stay home and hunker down. And I would be fine with some of our taxpayer money going into helping that because the taxpayer money comes from restaurants staying open and actual economic productivity taking place rather than the printing of money, which the U.S. can only do because we are the world's reserve currency. In the meantime, because we are printing free money and giving it away, except now we are exchanging these same dollar bills for absolutely nothing to force people to stay down and using the dollar bills printed to fund these activities and draconian measures because we can for a temporary period of time. But everybody who has savings are seeing them slip away because the authoritarians have to have their way. But do they follow? No. Gavin Newsom went out to the French Laundry restaurant where the bar bill was $15,000. Originally, he claimed that they were seated outside, that there was a small group of them, like 12 people just above the 10 that I believe that he mandated could meet except there were 22 of them, and they were indoors. He is a liar. These people are horrible people, rules for thee, but not for me. What this is, is total hypocrisy. It is the shutdown of people that actually want to be productive because we do not meet their criteria. We are not a huge business. So they shut you down while Walmart and Amazon are able to stay open, but the small business uh-uh-uh, you don't have the same political connections that the movie industry does. That same catering company that is going to win the contract of feeding the same people that could be eating at her restaurant, and they are closed. The catering company is open. The movie industry is open. Differential treatment under the law. And once again, this is what happens when government intervenes in the free market, when they mandate that some people are able to stay open and they state that they want to achieve equity. They don't even want equality of opportunity. They just want power. And they, if you have political connections like the movie industry does, then you get the benefits, but not the small business owner because there's no justifiable way that you can shut these people down while allowing other people to stay open. This is a travesty. This is Los Angeles. This is California and the progressive lefties that are mandating your acquiescence to their authoritarian desires and whims. This time to stand up for your liberties is today. It was yesterday, but yesterday has passed, and today has arrived. And today is the day that you march. Today is the day that you hold your own protest in response to the tyranny of the scaremongering and fear-mongering that they are using to boil the frog of liberty in the pot. That is the United States, and they are getting you to willingly hand over your liberty. I side with this woman. There is absolutely no reason that the movie industry should be allowed to be catered to while this woman is closed. Fuck you, Garcetti and Gavin Newsom. You are horrible, horrible, horrible people. And you deserve your own special place in Hades, in hell. Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Share this video. Let people know what's going on. Let people see the distress on the small business owner that is existing because of these authoritarian measures. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, all notifications. Peace and blessings. Thumb up the video. Peace out. And I side with this woman. Send her your business, send her your support, and march in the streets to protest. Just say your Black Lives Matter. Maybe then they'll allow you to do so. Fuck off, California.